Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here. It's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week. I hope everybody's doing great. Got a uh, new soap to try out today from Italy, uh, from Panta Ray. If you've probably seen some of my older videos, I actually uh, have tried uh, uh, custom brushes from Panta Ray. In fact, this is the one I had custom made, uh, along with a bowl, the bowl. And what that is, is that is a drawing of a tattoo that my father got when he was in the uh, Merchant Navy, the British Merchant Navy, uh, in India. Uh, he had that tattoo and it was on his forearm. And uh, he's gone now, of course, my dad, but uh, he had Homeward Bound England and he had uh, the ship. And here's what that arm looked like. Now, I've also tried the previous soaps from Panta Ray, but that was always in a collaboration with another soap company. So what they have now is I have a package, big package from Italy, and uh, this contained their newest soaps and aftershaves that were actually created by their own lab, Panta Ray's own lab. They're doing them in the house now. And the one that uh, Alessandro was really excited about me trying was uh, Marrakesh. Uh, this is, uh, he really says this is one of their flagship ones. Uh, he really wanted me to try this one, give my opinion. And it's got uh, Moroccan Rose, Rose of Morocco, Oud, O-U-D, am I pronouncing that right? Oud, Oud, and uh, Saffron, and Jasmine. And it's a very silky, smooth looking soap. You've probably seen some soaps that look like, you know, they're uh, not blended, but... Uh, they don't look as smooth as this. This is very smooth. It's got a very, very fresh smell. I do smell the rose and jasmine. And we're going to try this out for the first time today. I'm also uh, going to be using the brush. Uh, this is, a, I think, a Best Badger or Badger. That uh, and If you want to see details on this brush, uh, you can check my previous videos. So uh, this is a fat, fat brush. And uh, oops gonna spill some water out of there it <laughs> it barely fits in the crystal skull so we're gonna be using this today now I did not get the matching aftershave for the Marrakesh but the two other uh, soaps that I do have do have matching aftershave so today I'm going to be using Parasso again but uh, the different style this is the type that I get off eBay uh, in the US this one, I'm not sure it's a different bottle. I don't know if they've just changed their bottles. Maybe they have, but uh, I'm going to try this version today. And I know I've used this in the last shave, or this in the last shave, but uh, we'll kind of keep it Italian. And I'm also using uh, a Fatip open comb again. Not the same one I used last time. This was a different open comb, but I'm using the same blade. And I found out, you know, you'd figure, I'm not an expert, right? but I'm proficient in DE razors and blades. You'd figured I would know not to touch the blade. I actually dropped the head into the sink and I tried to grab it. Man, it was, it was bleeding pretty good. It stopped now. So uh, no matter how proficient you are, you can still cut yourself on those DE blades. So please be careful. But we're gonna be trying this razor out today. And again, it's not about the razor or the, the brush. It's, 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 it's about the soap today. So shall we get started? All right. Oh, and wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Seiko, I think it's uh, Planet Ocean, uh, custom uh, with their turtle. And uh, I've been swapping this on and off with the Arnie now. All right. Only problem with my Panta Ray brush is it's a ceramic handle, so it's slippery and easy to drop. So I'm going to be a little careful on that. And it's a very thirsty brush. It holds a lot of water. The badger bristles are very, very thirsty. Yeah, very, very mild, very nice scent. Not too overpowering. I'll be curious to see how the uh, aftershave when I if I when I get some, you know, how that one pairs with the the soaps. All right, oh, look right away. Look at that. I'm growing out my goatee. I think I mentioned it because I'm going to be using a razor to take it off in the future. 
And I went to the dermatologist yesterday, so you're probably going to see some burns. They burnt me, burnt me, burnt me, burnt me. I don't recall them. They got my ear. I don't recall them. Pre-skin cancer. So this isn't November, but I'm telling you, get screened, guys. Get screened for cancers. Uh, do your due diligence. I go every three to six months, and they always find something. And they always freeze it off with that liquid nitrogen. So, you know, there's my PSA for today. Well, the soap smells fantastic. Got to make sure I do not drop the ceramic brush. It's an efficient brush. It works great, but it's so custom and spendy that I, I don't want uh, I don't want anything to happen to it. I don't want to accidentally drop it. All right, here we go. And I'm using the same blade, the Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade. Yeah, there's, they froze there. I've got to avoid that area. That I used in my previous shave a few days ago. Now the blade, the soap, and the razor combo that I'm using today, no issues. Very, very smooth. Very smooth. There's another burn right there. She goes, I hope you're not doing anything for the next three days because uh, you're going to have some scars and blisters for me. And I said, nah, just doing a shave video. So they don't mind. They do not mind. All right. Yeah, that was so stupid. And I'm dropping soap everywhere. Maintaining its slickness, good smell. I have the links to uh, Alessandro's site, Pantare, Italy. The English, uh, you can go in Italian or English version. So what I have tagged in the uh, uh, description of this video is the English version. Because I, I couldn't, I wish I could understand Italian. It's, I hear if you can speak Spanish, you can kind of get by with Italian. I speak uh, poco Spanish, a little bit of Spanish. Enough to get by. Donde es el baño? Dos cervezas, por favor. I, but I don't know if I, how I would do in Italy. <laughs> but my friend who uh, was uh, born in Mazatlan, Mexico, he uh, has went to Italy and he said uh, he got, you know, he was fluent in Spanish and he said they understood him okay. Oops, I got a little nick right there. My usual spot. Actually, they did burn something on my neck. <sighs> I should have avoided that area. Well, I've opened it up now. Not good. Not good. Two cuts on me today. One on my finger, one on my neck. Hope your week is going good. I just finished the zombie movie on a... Uh... Oh, it's on... Netflix, or uh, it's called uh, Black Summer. Finished the second season. Can't wait for the third season. They're not there yet. I really do like the zombie flicks. All right. Pass two. Got to avoid that where they froze right there. Either don't do a shave for a week, and then I don't get to talk to you guys, or I just be a little careful and don't cut myself. And I've got liquid nitrogen squirted on my face. There we go. Hear the feedback? Yeah, there's the cut. Yeah, that, that's where they got me. If they detect anything that looks out of the ordinary or precancerous, they, they freeze it off. Good. Look at all the scars I've got from stuff removed. That's this English skin growing up in California. We don't have the sun in Newcastle too well. Too bright, too intense, right? It's not like Hawaii. Or SoCal. Very nice performing soap. Now the 
cake's not so bad. Yeah, I can see the burns. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see how the burns like this. Smells just the same as the other bottle. Again, if you guys know the difference, please let me know. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, right up there. Oh man. Not the best burn I want to feel. Whoa. All right. Now, I keep asked, I've been asked, what do you do? You just put the lid on this. What I do is I rinse this under the sink just for a second. Get all the excess soap off. I don't have a second camera. I'm just rinsing it under the tap. And then I'm uh, letting all the water go out of that. I'll leave this for about 10 minutes, then I'll put the lid back on it. it. Hasn't been 10 minutes, but I'm just showing for demo. And then I'm good to go for the next time. So that was Marrakesh. Very nice, Alessandro, very nice. Uh, I don't know if you guys have tried it, if the other uh, YouTube YouTubers have uh, tried it yet. I'm kind of far away from it, so I do imagine that maybe somebody in the UK or over there have done it. But uh, I'm going to have to take a look just in case. But uh did do very well. Yeah, there's the little nick. This was worse. <laughs> That's bleeding still, bleeding through there. All right, thank you very much for watching. And I do hope to uh, be doing another video soon. It's Wednesday. We'll try to get another one out before the weekend. It's been hectic. Everybody knows that. Uh, all of you have hectic lives. Now I've got homework to do with uh, <laughs> with uh, online classes for uh, digital photography, I've got work, and I've got the family, and I got the, I'm juggling everything. But uh, life is good, I'm no complaints here. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I do look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.